Gemini. What's up, Gemini? It's Deb with Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that this reading finds you safe. Shout out to my Soul Tribe members that are out there that have been showing love and support. I definitely appreciate that, you guys. And then also, if you are new here, you've been resonating with the channel, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell. I definitely appreciate the energy exchange as well. All right, so these are the Queen of the Moon Oracle. And I'm going to pull one of these. It's basically going to just kind of give us an indication if it's past, present, or future moon cycle around what moon cycle is going to be, okay? I had been doing this last, but I'm being instructed to do this one first now, okay? So we got the beaver moon creation. Okay, so Gemini, the next beaver moon is going to be November 19th, 2021. So it could possibly happen around that time, before that time, or after that time. But we got creation right here. So we must be talking about something that you're working on, something that you've been putting in work. Because if you look right here, it looks like she's got some like um, scrolls with a lot of instructions, almost like architectural. All right, I don't know why I want to pull this, but we're going to do this one last. All right, so we got the new Hermetic cards that we're doing today for this reading. Also, I am open for a personal, so if you guys would like to book a personal, I do have instructions in the description box below. The turnaround time is now 24 hours, so it's actually shorter now, so you don't have to take as long to get your reading. And then if you are an Instagrammer and you would like to follow the Instagram page, there is a link also below in the description box, okay? Gemini, we got Naput, which is Anubis. So this is death and transformation, okay? Let's see. So I'm looking at the creation card and I'm looking at how the moon is on her head. So I feel like you've been getting some transformative thoughts in your mind, probably in dream state. Okay. Amun Ra. Shai and Renanut. Eight of Swords. Ten of Ankh. Eight of Scepters, the Four of Unks, and the Judgment card. Okay. So this is the Emperor card. So it basically means that it's really time to stand in your authority and your power. Always showing love and compassion with the, the Ankh. And then always knowing that you are of high stature and that you stand firm in what you believe in. And then this bird right here is actually um, symbolizing Haru or Horus, right? So just knowing those principles and knowing that that will keep your dynasty, your legacy, your empire, however you guys see it afloat. So whatever you're building on, make sure you build it on firm foundations and firm principles. This card represents the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is in your favor. Pretty much whatever you're doing, continue to do it. Stay on the positive side of the wheel. We got the Eight of Swords here. So with the Eight of Swords being here, this indicates that someone is either, either mentally entrapped in their mind. They're, they're not seeing things clearly like they need to. They don't know that this is all in their mind and that they could actually get out of this situation. So I'm not sure if it's you or if it's someone else, but it could be people in your family with the 10 of onks. This could be relatives, cousins, aunts, uncles. Your, your, um, if you're married, it could be husband, wife, children, stuff like that, right? But with the eight of scepters, this is communication coming in this is it can be fast communication or a lot of people have something to say at one time okay 
Then we got the three, of, the four of unks. I don't know why I said the three. Interesting. So the four of unks can indicate either someone is bored with an offer or someone is rejecting something that they don't even want to take a look at. And then we got the judgment card. So things are going into judgment energy. So it could, so it could be justified and balanced out. So there might have been a lot of things that were unjust that was done. But if you look at it, the poots is in both of these cards. He's right here too. Okay. Let's see. What's the emperor? Three of swords. Mm, Sekhmet, the king of scepters, five of scarabs, ten of swords, and I said, okay. So Sekhmet, she is the goddess of war, okay? She defends the pharaohs. So I feel like Sekhmet is defending your case. She's standing up for whatever it is that is going on then you see the number eight right here so she's probably been surrounding your life for a long time ever since you were born this is number eight is like infinite okay this is also what i'm getting is this is your energy too because this is amun Ra, but in the king of scepter depiction right so it's like as long as you stay in the principles that I mentioned earlier, you're going to still be able to build a firm foundation and you'll still be able to keep your passion rolling. Somebody is going to be ostracized from you or kicked out of whatever it is that you got going on because these people don't mean any good. Ten of swords, they want to see your demise. Somebody's trying to do some type of magic on you or they've been wishing you bad will. When I say magic, magic comes from people talking too. It doesn't have to be like a ritual. It can be someone wishing ill on you is magic, okay? So somebody might be talking because this is also the, of the swords. They might be wanting your downfall. These people are about to get kicked out because you got the will of fortune. And they probably try to cause you a heartbreak or they try to send somebody your way to break your heart. A lot of times they try to attack your heart chakra because then you can't create anything when you're in a heartbreak type energy. Your energy's off. Yeah. Three of Scarabs, they plotted with other people to try to do this. Wow. Okay. What's the Will of Fortune? Okay, so we got Tahuti. These cards fell. None, which is the Hermit card. Queen of Swords reversed. And uh, Kana Soup. Okay. So, to, wow, we got the High Priestess right here too. Tahuti. He writes down what is being, what is happening in the judgment, okay? So things have been recorded. Things have been seen, regardless of what other people think they're doing. If they think they're being sneaky, it's, they're not getting away with it. Herman in reverse. So it's like, there is no way to hide this. I feel like somebody's trying to go into hiding, but they're being discovered. Queen of Swords reverse. This person, what I'm feeling is they're a liar and a coward, okay? They, they could be trying to make you come off as a liar or a coward too because this is your energy in the Queen of Swords. But th they're lying, okay? This is the moon card. So there's a, like a illusion. Like, like I said, somebody's trying to speak ill will, which is a form of magic, and trying to make people believe something that's not true. That's, they're trying to say you're a liar, basically. But Tahuti is recording this. So when it comes down to judgment time, those records are going to be seen, okay? It could also be that 
in the three three D there could be like a investigator that is investigating these people and they don't know it. Okay. What's the yeah, because the high priestess is here, so intuition is very important. Um the high priestess is all knowing also. What's the eight of swords? Two of scarabs. The four of scarabs and the four of scepters. Wow. Somebody was trying to hold back. They, what they were trying to do basically is they wanted you to be juggled, double minded about what you needed to do. They didn't want you to see what it was that you needed to do to stay in. They wanted you to stay in a three of swords energy so that you would hold back and not give your energy like you needed to. Because if you hold back, you're going, you would be be missing out on a happy home a happy life celebration so somebody wanted you basically to be tormented to the point where you kept yourself in this confinement but it's not gonna happen you got the ten of onks right here so this is happiness home happy home happy life okay that's the ten of onks My aunt, yes, my aunt is a temperance card in this deck, right? So keep yourself balanced, okay? Don't overdo anything. Don't do too much because I feel like right now this is actually being in some type of court case. Like I said, if it's not the actual physical 3D where there's an investigator involved or anything like this, this is happening in the spirit realm. So just be very careful that you don't go off the edge because then it's kind of like this they want a reaction out of you so that they can affirm what it is that they're lying about yep just stay cool the four swords get some rest rejuvenate let your mind be at ease because if your mind is tormented it makes it hard to manifest you're in a creative energy right now and someone's trying to block that what's the eight of scepters Look, warrior of scepters, seven of unks, and the scribe of unks, reverse. They want you to stay in some type of illusion, confusion, not knowing what path to take, not knowing what choice to make, right? They don't want you to give any type of emotion because you guys know that you need all four elements to be able to actually create something. So if your emotions are off balance, it's gonna be hard for you to manifest anything. They want you to stay angry. They want your mind to be mentally disturbed. <laughs> Ooh, yuck, four of onks. Nine of onks, look. So basically, what's going to happen is because these people have rejected you, you're going to get your wish. <laughs> you're going to get your wish. There's going to be a tower moment that's going to happen for them. So they're going to end up being devastated because everything that they try to do didn't work. Look, because you are the star. You're the star. Nuts. What's judgment? Yeah, warrior scepters. All this because somebody wanted to rage war on you for no reason, basically. Just jealousy. They're going to be stuck in a mental... They're going to be stuck in a mental prison. And they're going to be sitting there waiting for something to come that's never coming. Judgment is here. So things are going to be balanced. Things will be justified for you. Let's get you guys a uh, shamanic medicine. Wow, air creativity. <laughs> Work with the element of air. 
to still the mind. Meditate daily, a perfect time to begin new projects. Trust the images that you see in your mind. Get creative. Go into nature, listen to the wind, take long hilly walks, parachute, skydive, take a risk and follow your dreams. What did I just tell you, Gemini? You are the air. Your creativity is very important. Don't let these people get you off balance because that's their goal. And as long as you stay balanced, you're going to still be able to complete what it is that you have been sent here to do, okay? So that is what I have for you, Gemini. I hope that this helps someone. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell, and I will talk to you guys later. Deuces.